Welcome to Feline Dominion. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of the African wildcat, Felis libica, a species that holds a special place in the history of our beloved domestic cats. These wildcats are not only their direct ancestors, but also a remarkable species in their own right, having diverged from the domestic lineage around 10,000 years ago. Taxonomy and Classification The African wildcat belongs to the family Felidae and the genus Felis. Its scientific name, Felis libica, reflects its origins in the regions of North Africa and the Middle East. Within this species, there are several recognized subspecies, each adapted to different environments across Africa and parts of Asia. These include Felis libica libica, found primarily in North Africa, this is the nominal subspecies. Felis libica cafra, inhabits southern Africa. Felis libica ornata, also known as the Asian wildcat, found in parts of the Middle East and Central Asia. Appearance and Camouflage The African wildcat is easily distinguished by its sandy grey coat, adorned with faint tabby-like stripes, and a striking white underbelly. This coloration provides perfect camouflage in their natural habitats, allowing them to blend seamlessly with the savannas, grasslands, and semi-deserts of Africa and the Middle East. Their bushy tail, often tipped with black, and the rufous, reddish, coloring on the backs of their ears, give them a unique appearance that hints at their wild nature. Size and weight In terms of size, the African wildcat is relatively small but perfectly proportioned for stealth and agility. They typically measure between 18 to 29 inches, 45 to 74 centimeters, in body length, excluding the tail, which adds another 8 to 13 inches, 20 to 33 centimeters. Their weight ranges from 6.6 .6 to 11 pounds, 3 to 5 kilograms, making them compact yet powerful predators. Lifestyles and hunting. These wildcats are nocturnal predators, emerging under the cover of darkness to hunt. Their diet primarily consists of small mammals like rodents, but they're also known to prey on birds, reptiles, and insects. What's truly fascinating is their adaptability, their excellent climbers, scaling trees with ease, and they're even strong swimmers, a rare trait among cats. Their hunting strategy relies on stealth and patience, often stalking their prey with incredible precision before pouncing with lethal accuracy. Territory and social behavior. African wildcats are solitary and fiercely territorial creatures. They communicate through scent marking, using their urine and feces to define the boundaries of their territory. This scent marking behavior not only wards off other cats, but also plays a crucial role in mating. During the breeding season, a male may cover vast distances in search of a female, following the scent trails she leaves behind. These cats are generally elusive and avoid humans, making them difficult to observe in the wild. Reproduction and litters When it comes to reproduction, African wildcats are equally intriguing. They usually breed during the rainy season when food is plentiful. A female gives birth to a litter of two to four kittens after a gestation period of about 60 to 68 days. These kittens are born blind and helpless, but they grow rapidly, weaning at around six to eight weeks. By six months, they are already honing their hunting skills, and by the time they reach a year old, they are ready to establish their own territories. Unique Adaptations and Facts one of the most interesting aspects of the African wildcat is its role in the domestication process. These cats were likely attracted to human settlements thousands of years ago by the abundance of rodents. Over time, a mutually beneficial relationship developed, leading to the domesticated cats we know today. Yet, despite their close genetic relationship with domestic cats, African wildcats retain a wild, untamed nature. They are more elusive, less sociable, and far more independent than their domesticated descendants. Conservation status Currently, the African wildcat is listed as least concerned by the IUCN, but this status doesn't tell the whole story. The biggest threat to their survival is hybridization with domestic cats, which can dilute the genetic purity of wild populations. This hybridization is particularly prevalent in areas where human populations encroach on wild habitats. Additionally, habitat loss and hunting in some regions also pose risks to their populations. 
Final thoughts? In summary, the African wildcat is a remarkable species, not only because of its direct link to our domestic cats, but also because of its unique adaptations and behaviors that have allowed it to survive and thrive across such a wide range of environments. From its solitary, nocturnal lifestyle to its critical role in the ecosystem as a predator, the African wildcat continues to captivate and inspire those who study it. So next time you look at your pet cat, remember the wild lineage that connects them to these incredible creatures roaming the wilds of Africa. Stay tuned for more exciting explorations into the world of felines, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Feline Dominion.